recovery is just as important as your exercise, as diet, as everything, because it determines your rate of success. The required temperature is below 60, and if you're an experienced ice bather, <laughs> Get right into it this is matcha turmeric with black pepper the benefits are astounding the only difference between matcha and green tea is that matcha is a more polarized version of green tea it has powerful benefits especially something that's called egcg which is responsible for fat burning especially visceral fat which is that stubborn fat around the belly that stubborn fat that helps to increase inflammation that's around our organs that helps to metabolize that fat the fact that it has black pepper helps to enhance the absorption of the matcha and the turmeric and the benefits of it this is an aid and a plus to everything else that you're doing so matcha turmeric with black pepper it's available on our website, upholdnutriment.com. There's something for you. The link is going to be in the description below. A lot of us tend to overlook recovery when we're embarking on an exercise regimen. Recovery is just as important as your exercise, as diet, as everything, because it determines your rate of success when it comes to your muscle gain, your fitness gains, and most importantly, your consistency. The muscle soreness is something that we all hear about and complain about when it comes to fitness. Ice baths helps to alleviate muscle soreness, inflammation that's within the muscles. Ice baths have gained popularity in the fitness industries because of its healing properties. Let's talk about the inflammation, the muscle soreness, and what is going on with our blood vessels. When you're sitting in an ice bath, your muscles start to constrict. During that constriction process, your body is getting rid of the lactic acid, which is responsible for muscle soreness. Hold on. Shit. Go. Oh my God. Another good point is helping to activate brown fat. Brown fat converts your, the energy into heat, which in return, you start to burn fat or burn more fat more efficiently. The required temperature is below 60. And if you're an experienced ice bather, you can go low to 40 degrees. The benefits of this is phenomenal. Thirty seconds in. In order to reap the full benefits of an ice bath, you'll need about 11 minutes a week. You can break it up: one minute here, two minutes there. However, you decide to do it. More experienced bathers can go up to 50, 15 minutes a day. You said I was starting to relax, right? Because, mm -hmm. like, as soon as after you get through that initial like shock of how cold the temperature is, because right now the thermometer said before I hopped in, it said it was 58. It is recommended if you are someone who struggles with cardiovascular disease or some sort of heart condition that you consult with your doctor prior to engaging into ice baths. You don't have to be a professional athlete to benefit from the ice bath. Even an average couch potato could benefit. If you have an injury, muscle soreness, stiffness, the ice bath will help to alleviate that. Again, because it's one of the best ways to heal the muscles. Right now, I'm going for a morning run on concrete, asphalt, which isn't the best for the knees, which is why it's beneficial to incorporate things like 
ice bath, the saunas for recovery. Personally, I'm not the best at recovery or being consistent when it comes to incorporating recovery. But as I'm getting older, I notice how imperative it is to be more strict with that. And I spend a check, spend a check, get it back, then I take a rest Only race is the human, I take care of my skin I was doing this as a rookie, now I'm up to vet Set the, set the trend, set the pace of play I don't trip, but if I fall, bet I make a way I take trips in the fall, watch the least change I like to treat every day like it's my B-Day No watch, no diamonds, no